Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel and a couple of big stories coming out of eBay and Amazon today. And I like to keep everyone up to par, up to you know date on the latest from uh, eBay and Amazon since that's what the majority of us use for our selling platforms. I know people use other platforms, but they're the two big ones and there's some pretty big stories coming out of both of them today. I'm just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna shoot over to my screen share and show you guys what the news was from both Amazon and eBay. And Amazon was more from the Jeff Bezos side of things, like the third richest guy in the world that owns Amazon. But uh, let's check out his news from the day. It's kind of fun. Okay, so story number one out of Amazon is that U.S. lawmakers are calling for a, hair, a hearing on the Amazon Whole Food deal. I don't know if you guys saw anything about this. I did a video where I mentioned it. Um, Amazon purchasing Whole Foods for 13.7 billion dollars and essentially the government is having a problem kind of like that whole monopoly thing uh, when they went after Microsoft decades ago um, they don't really want one person or one company like Amazon to have such a, a stranglehold on a market um, and Amazon hasn't really said what they're gonna do with the Whole Foods deal whether they're gonna do you know deliver at home or, or what they're gonna do um, but essentially uh, Amazon has to get this deal approved by the U.S. Antitrust Enforcers, which would likely end up being the FTC or the Federal Trade Commission. They are the ones that okay or nix when companies are going to merge. For example, I think a couple years ago, AT&T and T-Mobile were about to become one company, and the government said, no, no, that's too big. You're not giving consumers enough options. And so they nixed that deal. And usually the pressure from the government causes the two companies to call off the deal anyways. Um, Congress doesn't play a role in that. It is the FTC, which is ran um, by a different um, part of the of the of the government. It is appointed um, by government officials. I think Trump actually has a uh, a play in that. But um, anyways, uh, Trump was kind of unhappy about it from last I heard, um, and no no idea how this would affect the market if Amazon did close on the deal. Um, but it is a pretty big deal, so something to keep an eye on. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think Jeff Bezos had a pretty good reaction to it because this is the picture that came out of Bezos today. <laughs> and look at him. Look at Jeff. Looking jacked. He's the owner of Amazon, if you're not sure who he is. He was at a, uh, at a uh, conference, a Sun Valley conference in Idaho, and uh, people on Twitter were noticing it. It was blowing up. But um, that's his uh, looking back at the government angry face, I guess. Letting them know, hey, in addition to being super rich and owning Amazon, look at me. I can throw down with the government. So uh, we'll have to watch how that plays out and, uh, and see how, uh, how the government ends up treating Amazon when they try to finalize the deal with Whole Foods. $13.7 billion. And I believe it was cash. Somebody uh, have to check me on that. Look that up. But uh, if you do a hashtag Bezos on Twitter, you'll come up with some of these funny memes that people are putting out, putting them next to Vin Diesel and The Rock. That's pretty funny. But uh, anyways, yeah, so that's Jeff Bezos. That's the story out of Amazon. They're being looked at by the government uh, over their whole, whole food deal. Um, but let's go over to eBay's news, which I've got right here. And it says, this is huge, through Bloomberg Technology, eBay broke a July sales record thanks to Amazon Prime Day. Well, that doesn't really make any sense. Why would Amazon's Prime Day help eBay break a record? Well, it's because eBay did an a, uh, anti-Amazon um, advertising campaign through billboards and uh, radio and um, online ads and, and all that kind of stuff, TV ads, I believe, as well. And... They said, basically, have you checked eBay? That was their slogan. Did you check eBay in response to Amazon Prime Day? Um, if you guys didn't know Amazon Prime Day a couple days ago where people could log in to Amazon and get, you know, basically everything shipped prime two to three day without a membership. Um, and Amazon reported that they did $1 billion in revenue on Prime Day, which is three times their daily average meaning that they're doing whatever, $333 million a day in sales, and they did a billion dollars on Prime Day. Um, eBay won't comment on how much they did, but they said it was a record-breaking July. So um, pretty cool. Both of them had a great um, great you know, day on Prime Day, but, uh, which you know, is great for us as sellers. Obviously, we had big days. I had a big day, and uh, it's great for buyers too. They get good deals, and... Uh, and us as sellers hopefully made some money. So pretty cool news from eBay there. They had a record-breaking July sales day. And Amazon did a billion dollars in sales in one day, 24-hour period. So pretty crazy. If you didn't know why I'm a reseller or why a lot of us are resellers, 
now you know. So check out those stories. I'll link all of them down below. You can check those out in the description box along with all my other links. You can check out my eBay store. It is an affiliate link. If you want to go to eBay, use my link. It'll take you to my store and then you can go about your normal shopping and it will help me out. So please give this video a big thumbs up. Please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. Turn on the notifications and I will see you a little bit later, guys.